Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss binomial option pricing model. Here I have taken one example from John C. Hill. The example is something like this one. A stock price is currently $40. It is known that at the end of one month it will be either $42 or $38. The risk free interest rate is 8% per annum with continuous compounding. And we have to determine the value of a one month European call option whose strike price is $39. So the following information is provided to us that is stock market price 40 rupees uh, sorry 40 dollar and the future movement or the future price change will be either 42 or 38 dollar in addition to that the risk free rate of interest is given 8 percent per annum with continuous compounding the strike price of the european call option is given 3 39 dollars and the time period is one month here we must remember one thing that uh, the rate of interest is given in per year terms therefore we have to convert the time period into year terms that's why here i have converted t into 1 upon 12 year so we will remember this fact moving ahead now the spot market price on uh, today is given 40 dollars and it is mentioned that the price will be either $42 or it will be $38 in future. So this is a binomial tree as we can see on to the left side that is the price will be moving from 40 to 42 or 38. This is the binomial tree. Now we are supposed to determine the probability of upward movement. The probability of upward movement is uh, can be calculated using the formula that is exponential raised to the power rt minus d upon u minus d. p is termed as the probability of upward movement. Now we have to calculate the value of u. We can calculate using the following formula that is s0 u upon s0. As we can see into on the binomial tree, s0 u is 42 dollars and s0 is 40. So 42 divided by 40 we get 1.05. Similarly we can calculate the value of d that is s0 d upon s0 38 divided by 40. So uh, here we get 0.95. <coughs> now calculating the value of the European call option. As we know a call option is exercised when the spot market price on the date of maturity is greater than the strike price. Here in this case the strike price is $39 and as we can see the upward movement is 42 so the forward uh, sorry the price on the date of maturity is 42 that is S0U is 42 so FU that is upward upward value of the uh, option the, uh, can be calculated using the following formula that is maximum of ST minus K or 0. So ST here it is 42. So 42 minus 39 or 0. So we get 3 or 0. Out of 3 and 0, 3 is maximum. Therefore, the value of FU will be equal to 3. Now calculating the value of FD, again the same formula because the option will be exercised only when it is exercised. Therefore, the value of FD will be equal to maximum of ST minus K or 0. Here ST is S0D that is 38 and if we subtract 39 from 38 we get minus 1 and out of 0 and minus 1 0 is maximum. So, we will consider the value of FD equal to 0. Now, using the following information we have to calculate the value of F that is value of the European call option. <coughs> Sorry. And uh, this is the binomial tree that we have calculated the value of FU, FD and S0U and S0D was already given to us. Now, calculating the value of P using the following information U is equal to 1.05, D is equal to 0.95, R is equal to 8% and T is 1 upon 12 years. Plug in all these information and solve for P using the formula exponential raised to the power RT minus D upon U minus D. On solving this, we get 0 0.5669. So P is probability of upward movement. That's why I have written it over the upper branch.
now we have to calculate the probability of downward movement that is 1 minus p just simply plug in the value of p into this equation that is 1 minus p that is 1 minus 0 0.5669 we get 1 minus p equal to 0 0.4331 and remember 1 minus p is the probability of downward movement now we have to calculate the value of the option that is f now uh, we must uh, uh, I will share a trick to remember the formula. It is, as you can see on, uh, on the binomial tree, P is written on the upper branch and 1 minus P is written on the lower branch. So, uh, simply P multiplied by Fu, upper branch, that is P leads to Fu and 1 minus P leads to Fd. So, we are just supposed to remember the formula in this way, P multiplied by Fu plus 1 minus P multiplied by Fd. And we must remember one thing that Fu and Fd will be the future outcome while F that is below S0. F is a present, uh, present value. Therefore, we are supposed to discount the future outcome into the present value. That's why you can see the formula over here F is equal to P multiplied by Fu plus 1 minus P multiplied by Fd whole multiplied by expo uh, exponential raised to the power minus rt. Now we are having all the information available with us. We are just supposed to plug in the values and solve for f. So after plugging in the values over here, we are getting 0 0.5669 multiplied by 3 plus 0 0.4331 point multiplied by 0 whole multiplied by exponential raised to the power minus 0 0.8 upon 12. After solving, we get the value of f is equal to 1.6893 dollars. Now you can pause this screen and check the values by yourself. Moving ahead. <coughs> now I am doing another example of a European put option. Here I have considered Another example, the, it is given a stock price is currently $50. It is known that at the end of 6 months, it will be either 45 or 55. The risk-free rate of interest is 10% per annum with <coughs> continuous compounding. And we have to determine the value of a 6-month European put option. Remember, here we are doing a case of put option. European put option with a strike price of $50. So, going ahead. We will be solving this numerical and uh, the following information is given to us that is current stock price is $50, S0U is $55, S0D is $45, rate of interest is 10%, strike price is $50 and time period is 6 months. Here again see I have converted it into num years. So 6 month is equal to 1 upon 2 year. Now moving ahead. Again, we will be creating a binomial tree. So, S0U is equal to 50 and the price will be moving uh, on the upper side to 55 and the value of the forward option, uh, sorry, value of the European put option will be 0. Now, how we have calculated 0? Again, going by the logic here, we are considering a European put option and in case of put option, uh, the long position holder is having the right but not the obligation to sell the underlying asset to the short position holder. So, the put option holder will be selling the asset only when strike price is greater than the spot market price on the date of maturity. So, remember this fact, the put option will be exercised only when K is greater than ST and here as we can see, K is 50 and ST that is S0U is 55. So, 55 is obviously greater than 50. Hence, the put option will not be exercised. Now, how to calculate it using the formula? The formula that I have used over here is FU is equal to maximum of K minus ST or 0. Sim so, what we, what we have, we are supposed to do 50 minus 55 or 0 out of minus 5 and 0, obviously 0 is maximum. So, I have taken Fu equal to 0. Now, the binomial tree lower branches uh, 
$45 that is S0 is S0D is 45 dollars and FD here I have calculated uh, equal to 5 using the same formula that is K minus ST or 0 maximum value so 50 minus 45 and 0 so we get 5 and 0 out of 5 and 0 5 is maximum so the value of FD will be equal to 5. Now calculating the value of U, U is equal to S0 U upon S0 so 1.1 d s0 d upon s0 so 45 upon 50 we get 0.9 and the following information is given to us that is r is 10 percent and t is 0.5 years now here we are again using the same formula of p that is e raised to the power rt minus d upon u minus d we are having all the information available with us we can plug in and solve for the value of p so p is equal to 0 0.6751 and p as we have discussed p is the probability of upward movement so it will be written over the upper branch of the binomial tree similarly we can calculate the value of 1 minus p it is equal to 0.3249 and it is the probability of downward movement so it will be written over the lower branch of the binomial tree now using the following information we have to calculate the value of f now solving for the value of f <laughs> sorry we are having the following information available with us and we have to solve for the value of f using the same formula that is f is equal to p into f u plus 1 minus p into f d whole multiplied by exponential raised to the power minus rt uh, again uh, remembering the formula as you can see p is on to the upper branch and it leads to fu and 1 minus p is on to the lower branch and it leads to a value of fd so we are supposed to multiply both these values that is p into fu plus 1 minus p into fd whole multiplied by now we have to discount it that's why whole multiplied by exponential raised to the power minus rt now all the information is available with us just plug in and solve for the value of f it is 0 0.651 multiplied by 0 plus 0 0.3249 multiplied by 5 whole multiplied by exponential raised to the power minus 0 0.1 into 0 0.5 and on simplifying we get the value of the European put option is equal to 1.5451 dollars. So like this we can solve the value of European put option as well as European call option. <coughs> uh, you can check it by pausing the video wherever you like and we will be sharing more videos like this one into the next session. Thank you.